a costly gift from the king. The king had bent to the forest for hunting. He was thirsty. Close to the forest there was a hut. He knocked on the door. A poor woodcutter opened the door. Imagine his surprise when he saw the king standing before him. He stammered and managed to say, Welcome, my lord. The woodcutter's wife spread a mat on the floor. The king sat down and asked for some water to drink. The woodcutter's wife brought the water but she also brought some boiled sweet potato. My lord, you may have a bite or two of this if you so please, she said with great affection. This will be at least something different from the royal dishes, she added. The king enjoyed the sweet potato very much. He said, Believe me, my sister, this tastes wonderful. You must serve me this once again when I come here next. The king took leave of the couple. A full year passed, but the king had no time to visit the forest again. One day, the woodcutter was setting out for the town on business. His wife gave him a parcel of boiled sweet potato and said, Give this to the king. He had relished it after all. The woodcutter was not sure if he would get admittance to the king's presence or if he should present such a poor gift to the king. He ate up most of the sweet potato sticks as he felt hungry on the way. Only the biggest one was left. He loitered in front of the palace. What do you want? What are you holding? asked the guards. I want to see the king to present him with a sweet potato very carefully boiled, he said. What? To present a sweet potato very carefully boiled to the king? repeated the guards loudly bursting into a laughter. Just then a landlord who was notorious for his greed was dismounting from his horse. He heard the conversation. He too laughed and going to the king said, My lord, do you know a joke? A rustic chap brings a sweet potato and claims that it is very carefully boiled for you. The landlord laughed and the courtiers joined him. Must be a mad cat, said someone. But the king at once remembered the woodcutter. He asked a courtier to rush out and usher in the man. Thus the woodcutter found access to the king. The king stood up and embraced him like a friend. He received the sweet potato with gratefulness and kept it beside him. He asked his treasurer to fetch a thousand gold coins in a pouch. He gave the pouch to the woodcutter and told him, This is for my sister and yourself. Now take rest in our guest house. You must dine with me. The woodcutter was led to the royal guest house. Suddenly an idea struck the landlord. He understood that the king was in a mood to give gifts. He went out and brought his handsome horse in and said, My lord, this is a gift for you. The landlord was wondering how much the king would give him for such a precious present. The king smiled and said, Thank you, I accept the horse and here is my gift to you. He handed over the sweet potato to him and said again, You know very well how costly it is. I got it for a thousand gold coins. So take half of it and leave the other half for me. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Do provide your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for listening.